I discovered that I had haemophilia when I was seven or eight years old, and I have suffered from this disease for a long time. Whenever I cut myself, the bleeding takes many hours to stop. One time, my shoulder was injured. It kept bleeding from nine o'clock in the evening until 7.30 in the morning. In most cases, I had to go to hospital to take the Factor VIII injection so as to stop the bleeding. Also, whenever I want to shave my chin, I feel worried lest I cut myself. I suffered for a long time until I heard about cupping. So, I went to a blood specialist, but he refused to do it for me because of my disease. I went to another one. He was brave and he did it for me. Then, when the coagulation of my blood became normal, the doctor cried happily. The ratio of the factor VIII was zero before cupping, but after it, it became about 34%. Now, thank God, I live my life easily and freely, and I shave without worry. And if I cut myself, there is no need to go to the hospital. I mean, I can manage my cut at home, so everything is normal now. About seven years ago, I fell ill with pain in the right side of my head. It was a severe pain and absolutely unbearable. The first time I went to a doctor, he said that the pain might have been caused by my teeth, so I went to a dentist who examined my teeth. He even extracted a filling and examined it, but fortunately there was nothing abnormal. The second time, the doctor told me that it could be my eyes. I went to Ebin El Nafis hospital and had my eyes examined. They flushed out my right eye, because whenever I felt the pain, my right eye became red and watered a great deal, and I could not bear that at all. The attacks were coming three times a day and night. Finally, the doctor told me that I had migraine and prescribed some tablets for me. I thought that I would recover if I used these medicines. But the doctor told me openly that those tablets were only analgesics because there is no treatment for migraine. My pain increased to the extent that the doctor gave me Valium tablets, telling me to take only half a tablet in the case of a strong attack. Despite his advice, I ended up taking two tablets due to the severity of the attacks, but this still only lessened the pain by about 10%. I kept suffering this pain for about two years. Then all my friends advised me to use cupping, and I read the book of cupping, an amazing form of medicine. So in the spring season and at the correct time, I went to one of my friends who was a doctor, and he performed the cupping for me. Out of the provider's favor, and after the first cupping, there was no attack on the first day after the treatment. On the second day, there was only one weak attack. Then the pain vanished completely. I am a diabetic patient. I was walking from Al Mazza region to Al Qanawat region every day to treat my diabetes. After three to four years of walking, I began to feel pain in the lower part of my left foot. It was unbearable, especially in the mornings when I awoke. At first, it came on from time to time, but after a while, it developed into 24-hour pain. I saw many doctors, but they were no use. I had x-rays taken and blood analysis, but still nobody knew the problem. I used analgesics, but I got no results. Then by chance, I met a doctor who advised me to go and try this treatment, as it is sunnah of the Prophet, so that I might get better by it. I did indeed go and try it. The advantages really were as good as the Prophet's touch. After four days of cupping, there was no more pain in my left foot, which I had suffered from for a full year. I'm a patient of pulmonary fibrosis. I have Barge's disease. I take corticosteroid tablets and nifid tablets. A doctor from the Ministry of Health has also prescribed me Omeran tablets for the Barge's disease. At night I have dyspnea, so I take oxygen as well because I cannot breathe. Despite all these medicines, I have had no results whatsoever and have been suffering from this disease for four years. 
When I was feeling really bad recently, some people told me about cupping. So I tried it for a year and I got much better. I no longer needed any medicines or oxygen, as it benefited me a great deal. I used it again for a second year, and now I enjoy good health and do not feel anything. I felt pain in my left hand and in the lower part of my head. It was unbearable pain, so I went to the doctor who asked me to have an x-ray. Then he told me that I have a cervical spondylosis thesis, and he gave me suitable medicine. He advised me to use an egg cooler. These drugs were only analgesics, which were of no use, though I kept using such medicines for all of three years. Then I heard one of my friends say that there was cupping in April. So I went and performed it. Thank God, from that time until now, I haven't felt any pain. I was thus able to dispense with a medical plastic collar. I also have a son of 12 years old who has thalassemia. I transfuse blood for him every two or three months in the National Hospital. He underwent a special cupping for children. Thanks be to God for that the last two years he hasn't needed any blood transfusions. I have had a herniation of the nucleus pulpus since I was 12 years old. The pain increased gradually. In the last two years, I have had two herniations, cervical spondylolisthesis and severe muscular contractions known as myospasms. I had treatment for a long time. In the end, I was unable to walk on my left foot, which became nearly completely paralyzed. My friend was a doctor. He took me to a specialist from Damascus who comes to Latakia from time to time. That doctor asked me to walk on tiptoe. Then he said to me, you will not be able to walk on your feet again unless you have an operation. And even after this operation, you will still be partially lame. I replied, but I cannot go in for this operation because of my job. I must carry weight and if I have the operation, I will not be able to do that. I went to one of my friends and asked him to take me to a shake, but he told me about the cupping and asked me if I believed in it. I answered that yes, I did, and I asked him to tell me where they did it. He told me in Al Safi Hospital. I went there with three men. Two of them were carrying me and the third was accompanying us. During the cupping, we remained cross-legged on the floor for about one hour. Then, when it was over, I stood up. I felt numbness in my left leg and toes, and I was afraid that I would fall down in front of everyone. So I sat down again. The cupping doctor said to me, Stand up, go on, is there any problem? I replied, No, there's nothing wrong. I stood up again, and when I put my weight on the leg, the numbness went away. I walked out with my companions following me, astonished. This happened six years ago. So I kept attending the treatment every year until now. Now I feel nothing. There is no numbness nor slackness in my leg. Surely this cupping is a thing from God, because it is a rare thing to be cured in the first session of any treatment. After one week, the regular doctor from Damascus saw me. He asked me, Hi Johnny, what have you done? Have you had the operation? I told him, yes, I had a divine operation. Last year, something incredible happened. I was waiting for my turn to be cupped when a blind man who had just been cupped left the clinic able to see. Nobody knew before that he was blind. Upon leaving, he was able to find and put on his sandals, a task for which he had needed the help of his son for the last 15 years. I suffered from semi-paralysis in my right hand and leg because of cervical spondylolisthesis. I have had five herniations in my neck. I had an x-ray and CT scan and an MRI and I showed them to my doctor. He told me that I had seven cervical vertebras and five herniations. He told me, you must have an operation. I agreed, but asked him, how much will it cost? 
and what is the success rate of this operation? He said, you should have the operation as your case may cause paralysis. I said, okay, I will have the operation, God willing. He estimated the cost to be about $7,000. This made me feel quite desperate, but I said, okay, if it is God's will, I'll sell my house, then I will come to you to have the operation. So I returned home. Then I became paralyzed, which made me so sad. But when one of my friends came to visit me, he said, Abu Muhammad, I can take you to a doctor who performs cuppings if you want. I replied, Cupping? The doctor told me I needed many operations to be well, and you talk about cupping? He said, You won't lose anything if you try the cupping. There's one in three or four days' time, hopefully. So, I went there on the 17th day of the lunar cycle. There, when the man pulled the first two glasses of blood from me, I felt as if there was something moving and coming out of my ear. What is it, I asked the doctor, that is coming out of my ear? He replied, there is nothing. Unconsciously, I raised my hand and said to the doctor, I feel as if there's something moving inside my ear. He asked, where? I pointed at my ear to show him. Then the doctor exclaimed, Oh look, you're moving your hand. I looked at myself and was surprised. I really had raised my hand. He continued his job and put the two glasses on me for the second time. Then he said to me, Now think of the prophet and try to move your leg. I replied, This leg is dead and I cannot move it. But he said, No, God willing, it will move. I began to move it with his encouragement. At first, one toe just wiggled. He encouraged me again to move it in the name of God. I did as he said, and my leg moved. It was unbelievable. I could move my hand and leg. When the doctor finished the cupping, he called my wife, as he is one of our acquaintances, and said to her, Congratulations, and thanks be to God. Her son is better now. He can walk, and now he is going to dance. In the year 2000, I was working in Lebanon. I began to suffer from pains in my right side or lados. I went to many doctors. One time, my health became so bad that they took me as an emergency case to Pastol Hospital in Junior. The doctors there couldn't diagnose my illness. They tried to guess the disease, but nobody was sure. I stayed in the hospital for two days. Then they referred me to Homs and then to Aleppo University Hospital, where I stayed for a long time, while the doctors tried to figure out my disease. Some doctors told me it was something known as Zoster. Others told me it was Neurolimitus. Meanwhile, my health was becoming worse and my side had opened up in various places. As a result of this, there was considerable bleeding and then discharges of pus. I took many analgesics. I suffered this disease solidly for a year and eight months. I was nearly bedridden and completely unable to move. Then one day I heard some people talking about cupping. At that time I knew nothing about it. My brother told me that it was Sunnah of our Prophet, peace be upon him. With this explanation, we went to have it performed the next day. By God's favor, after only one hour of cupping, I returned to work after having been bedridden for full year and eight months. God granted me health. I still have many proofs of my previous illness, which can be seen on my right side. There are scars and deformities caused by this disease. I went to cupping for four years and now I'm working. I'm healthy and the disease hasn't struck me again. I praise God for this.